The transition movement is a movement of, of, of communities now in more than 50 countries who are coming together to reimagine and rebuild the world. They, they work at the local scale in a way that's very solutions focused and positive and somebody once called it hope with its sleeves rolled up, which I really liked. Yeah, we are in a time where, where climate change is now so urgent that it really demands that we reimagine everything. Our economy, our food system, education, everything we need to reimagine. And I worry that for a, a combination of, of, of reasons, our collective imagination, which should be a muscle like this, has become a, a muscle like this. And we are facing this crisis thinking, oh yeah, but I, I really can't imagine anything different than this. And that's a real problem because we have to change so many things. So what I try to do is to help people to exercise their imagination and to feel really excited about the changes that we have to make. Because if we do everything the science demands, this will feel like the most incredible time to live through, I think. So one of the things that I love in the work that I do is that I get to go and visit different cities and towns and communities who, who are already doing this work. And uh, I came to uh, Grenoble uh, f seven years ago, I think, 2015, for the Biennale. And I was inspired then by a lot of what people were talking about and the, the excitement about these things. And so it's really amazing to be here today and to meet with many of the actors working in the community scale to, to do really fantastic projects. We're going to go and build a building, build a building? We're going to go and see a building, which I heard about and, uh, and I'm really excited to see. I think there is, there's lots of experience and projects happening in, here, happening here in this city which can inspire people all around the world to act much more ambitiously and imaginatively. So the Extinction Rebellion movement in the UK, which is a very activist, amazing movement there, they have an expression which I like where they say, we are all crew. So we are, we are all part of finding the solution to this problem. This is, this is not a time to just sit by and say, oh, someone else will solve this or it'll be fine. You know, we need everybody to, to play a role. We need everyone to make some time and to dedicate some energy and some, and some resource to this. And I think we also need people to, um, uh, to tell a different story because very often when we understand this crisis, we tend to just talk about extinction and collapse and disaster. And I think it's really important that we start to tell a different story because we know it is still possible that we could create an incredible transformation, a very different kind of world, a different culture, a different economy. And I think one thing people can do is to find the stories of what that looks like here in the city and all around the world and share those stories in every conversation that you have about this uh, crisis that we're in.